So I came across a very interesting use case earlier today in my own production instance of Salesforce. I'm working with a particular web-based tool that is capturing individuals that I am interacting with. And this particular tool uh, has the name in just one open text field. In other words, it's not two separate fields for first name and last name. Neither does this particular tool ask for the account name or company that the person is associated with. It does, however, have their email address, um, actually address and just their full name. That's pretty much about it. Yet, while uh, that this particular tool happens to be incredibly helpful, if not critical, uh, for my use case, I would like to be able to capture those individuals in Salesforce, um, even with the bare bones information that I have about them. So in that use case, we will only have the last name getting pushed into Salesforce, and the last name will actually contain both the first and the last name of the individual. The account name will be nowhere to be found, and uh, there will also be an email address. So how am I dealing with this in Salesforce? So the first thing I did was I made account name not required on my page layout. Uh, and the second thing that I did was I uh, put in some nifty process builder automation in order to take the data that will exist in the last name field. So it will be first name, space, last name. And it will automatically parse out the first name value and put the, fir the value of the first name into this first name field. And then it will parse out the value for the last name, or I should say anything after the space, and put it in this other field that I have here called last name temp hidden. I'm actually going to be removing it from the page layout, but I did want it on the page layout just to confirm that the data's, the flow is working properly. Um, and then it will, the automation will take the value that's in this field and replace what's in the last name field with the value that's in here. So the first one, I'm going to show you how it will work. So let's simulate by putting in, in the last name field, George space Washington. And when I hit save, watch what happens. The screen is going to refresh. And when I come back to this record, and now I click on edit, you will see that the name George is in the first name field, the last name Washington is in the last name field, and my hidden, temp hidden field looks like it wasn't touched whatsoever. It's completely clear. This is exactly how it's supposed to work. Now I'm going to show you how I did it. So let's go into setup and let's go into process builder. And the process builder that I created was right here. Okay, so now you can see I'm going to be working with Teachable. Um, so the, flow, the process uh, flow is right here. So here we are on contact. And only do it when the record is created. And uh, we're just confirming that the first name is going to be blank. And the account field will be blank as well. And when those criteria are met, do the following items. So it's actually four different items that are going to happen. So the first thing is we're going to parse out the last name. So we're going to look at the contact. And uh, let me clone this so you guys can actually see what's going on here. So the first thing is we're going to parse out the last name. And basically I'm saying take the uh, last name field that exists on the record and populate it with the following. And I put in this formula. So this formula is basically looking at the last name field and it's taking the text that will be found to the right of the space. Let's hit cancel here and let's go back and let's look at the next one. So after it does that, it's going to parse out the first name. So Let's go into the first name field and let's populate it with a similar, not identical, but a similar formula where it's looking at that last name field and it's parsing out what's what can be found to the left of the space. Let's 
cancel here. Let's go back to the next one. Now we're going to update the last name field. So the native Salesforce last name field should be populated with what we whoops with, with what I, I just put in this temp hidden field. And after that, we want to clear out that temp field. So go to that field called last name temp hidden and just put in a null value. And that's it. I will now have cleaner, <laughs> not entirely clean because I still do not have the account field uh, populated, but cleaner data coming in from Salesforce, even though initially uh, both a first and last name will be shoved into that last name field. Hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.